Okay, in this video, we are going to review this Power Up ACDC Kentucky Moving Van trailer. Now, I would review the cab that came with it, but I took them all apart for a project I'm doing for a guy, so I can't review the cab. It's just a red 389. But this is something I've actually, I don't think I've ever owned one of these trailers before. So this is kind of neat to see, because um, I don't know anything about them, really, aside from people move stuff in them. Anyway... Uh, down the side, we have the we have all the ACDC pictures of the band members, and then we have their logos and stuff on the sides. That's kind of cool. Uh, something I saw from the photos online before I actually got these was it looks like we have ceiling lights, so you can let sunlight in if you're loading and unloading your trailer. Inside, you have all sorts of detail. It looks like a wood grain floor, slatted sides, which is kind of neat, and that plastic and the accents are all painted silver. Plus, we even have a no smoking sign on the inside. That's kind of neat. On both sides, as a matter of fact. Obviously, the back doors do open and close. And then something, when I was messing with this, I noticed uh, there's something that slides out over here. There it is right there. That slides out, which is kind of neat. That even feels die cast. Or maybe it's just really hard plastic. I can't tell. But anyways, that slides out, I guess, if you want to haul something on the back. Um, it does look like you have uh, simulated doors down the side here. You have all this detail for hinges and latches and different things on three to four different spots of this trailer, so you can open up the side. I mean, these don't open, but in real life, you'd open up the sides and then you'd haul furniture in and out. Then, of course, you have this cage at the bottom where you can haul or add some other additional things. And then whatever... Oh, uh, these are all cabinets that must run through the inside or all the way through the bottom of this trailer. Landing gear does actually work. It twists up and down. The thing that I want to experiment with is I want to pop the top of this off. I think this is all plastic here. The top is plastic. This is plastic here. This cage is plastic. But the rest of this is going to be die cast, meaning we could strip all this down if we wanted to, and you could repaint this whole trailer body here, you could leave, yeah, you could strip the whole thing down and then repaint it any color you want. There's two screws that hold the rear end on, your tandems, and then it looks like there's some sort of mashed plastic right there that may very well hold something together on the inside. Either way, kind of a cool looking trailer. I got five of them I gotta get rid of, so if you happen to want one of these, go to rockinhfarmtoys.com. I'll be glad to sell you these because I don't have much use for moving trailers like this. Uh, they just happen to come with the semis that I bought as donors. Anyways, if you learned something, share it with a friend. And if you want to buy one, hit me up, rockinhfarmtoys.com. Catch you later.